In this lesson, we will learn about tetrachords and how they are systematically manipulated to create all of the sharped and flatted major scales. In part one, we will be focusing on scales with sharps. Tetra comes from the Greek word for the number four, and in the context of this lesson, tetrachord is being used to describe a four-note segment of a scale. In a previous lesson, we analyzed the C major scale and found that it is constructed from a specific series of tones and semitones. If we draw an imaginary line in the middle of the scale, we will notice that there are two identical patterns of tone, tone, semitone, with a tone connecting the two. The grouping on the left is referred to as the lower tetrachord, and the grouping on the right as the upper tetrachord. Let's isolate the upper tetrachord, which starts on the fifth degree of the C major scale, and move it across the page so that G will now be the start note for a new scale. We know the tone-tone semitone structure is correct, so let's go ahead and recalibrate the solfege and degrees. We now have a complete lower tetrachord of a G scale. The next step is to simply fill in the blanks by continuing to add the notes on the next line, D, the next space, E, the next line, F, and above that, the octave, G. These notes will be the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th degrees of this G scale. Now we need to analyze these intervals to make sure they fulfill the correct structure for a major scale. What we are looking for is a whole tone between the 4th and 5th degrees of the scale. We know already that the interval from C to D is a tone. Good. If G is our Do, then D is definitely So. Next, we need a tone between the 5th and 6th degrees, and we have that too. E would be La. Here's where things get curious. Although we know what the major scale needs now is another tone between the 6th and 7th degrees, we have previously learned that E and F are side by side, a semitone apart. Subsequently, that would leave us with a tone connecting F and G. This is not the structure of a major scale. To complete this scale, we need to open up the interval between the 6th and 7th by raising the F to F sharp, which will in turn close the interval between the 7th and 8th, giving us a semitone, creating the T Do effect that is necessary to complete our G major scale. This is the part you need to remember. Take the upper tetrachord of one scale, make it the lower tetrachord of a new scale, and then raise the seventh degree. Let's take this theory and apply it to the guitar fretboard. We will start with the C major scale on the fifth string that we used in the minor scale lesson. Clearly, we can see the tone-tone semitone lower and upper tetrachord patterns connected with the whole tone between the fourth and fifth degrees. We will isolate the upper tetrachord beginning on G and move these four notes first over to the fourth string and then on to the third, where we can conveniently complete the scale on one string. We have already established that the next interval needed between the two tetrachords is a tone. Two frets up from C is D. The interval between the fifth and sixth degrees is also a tone, and two frets up from D would be E. We know that E and F are only a semitone apart, but what the pattern needs next is a whole tone, and on the eleventh fret we find F sharp, which nicely sets up the semitone resolution of the scale on the twelfth fret, G, one octave above the open G we started on. Here again are the lower and upper tetrachords with the connecting tone creating the G major scale from the C major scale. We will be discussing these concepts further in Tetrachords Part 2 and in a lesson on the cycle of fifths, but for now use this formula of taking the upper tetrachord of one scale, making it the lower of a new scale, and then raising the seventh degree a semitone. Each time we do this we are adding one new sharp until every single note of the scale is sharped.
All of the major scales that use sharps are created by starting with the C major scale and systematically stacking tetrachords on top of tetrachords. <laughs>